G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online and the Fire Song. If you'd like to see this series right from the beginning, The Legacy of the Bretons, you can click on the series playlist in the top right, or you can click on the link in the description below. Uh, before we go out to a Sea of Troubles, let's go find Manubra. And hand that quest in. What a lovely little island this is. The air is almost dewy. Quite different from the sands that I'm used to. Ain't that right, Unu? <laughs> ah, yes. This dragon frog is my boon companion. We've been together since he was barely an ember-breathing froglet. I believe this note is talking about your dragon frog. What's this? About my Unu? Ah, <laughs> not a chance. For the rest of my time on Galen, Unu won't leave my side. Perhaps I'll carry him on my head. Or in my pocket. Hmm, no. These bridges would burn too easily. You have our thanks. Here, take this. My Unu is safe and well, thanks to you. I almost wish they had gotten their grubby hands on him. Unu would have left some nasty burns to mark this discretion. <laughs> I'm the only one he doesn't spit flames at, you see. What a sight that would have been. What will you do now? We'll continue our respite until we're called back to our duties in Hammerfeld. Worry not. I won't let Unu out of my sight so long as we remain here. I've come to quite like this island, and Unu seems fond of the taste of salt water. I take it Unu is special to you? He may not look it, but Unu is a key component to our business endeavors. None would dare pull one over on me with the looming threat of third-degree burns nipping at their heels. <laughs> and well, it doesn't hurt that he's quite adorable. Why do you think they wanted to take Unu? Hmm, I have my suspicions. Unu and his kind are native to Hammerfell. He may be the first dragon frog to set foot on Galen. And I mean, look at him. It's no surprise that he's caught an envious eye or two. All right, buddy. <laughs> Thought that might have gone a little bit. It's gone somewhere, but anyway, look at that little thing. A dragon frog. Let's stay away from that. Don't get that fire in our face. Look at these um, sea dogs. Just jumping around. Swimming about and just jumping around. Just enjoying it. Enjoying their lives. Do it again. There he goes couple of flips all right so let's head out um oh we got a quest over here what's this swords needed for house monard house monard seeks stout blades cunning mages and daring adventurers to pacify the wilds of galen the northernmost island of the sisters archipelago is a beautiful yet dangerous frontier the Count calls on able warriors to protect the house's interests and keep our people safe from the encroaching wilderness. Only those brave enough to face monstrous beasts and delve into regions unknown need apply. Those interested should seek out our bowed Kedmain in Vastia. They don't call mm, me mud crab Taking that nothing. aroma, folks. That's the Chef Razi's guarantee. You there, traveler. Is this smoke in my eyes? Or have my prayers been answered? I'm a bit of a culinary adventurer, but you look like you explore more dangerous haunts. Am I right? How would you like to assist me with my newest expedition in the realm of flavor? What are you trying to do? My profession takes me all over the world, crafting new delicacies. And Galen here is bubbling with potential. I want to make the spiciest dish in all of Tamriel. A dish that melts in your mouth, or that just plain melts your mouth. Ha! And where do I come into this? I'm planning a fork tender Volkish ribeye, deglazed with brandy for a nice pan sauce, all topped with blistered volcanic reaper peppers for a fiery kick. While I cater to the crowd, I need someone to source those ingredients. What do you say? I think I can retrieve those ingredients for you. Good to know you can stand the heat. The Volkish meat and reaper peppers can be found in the wilds of Northern Galen. Try buying some Bastyr brandy over at the Jaded Ornod Tavern. Then hurry back. I'll save you the first scrumptious bite. 
Can't wait. So we go to the tavern, we'll grab the brandy. Uh, but before we do that... Oh, actually, let's do it. It's right here anyway. These sea elf pirates become more brazen every day. I'm sorry. If you're looking for a bottle of my Vestir brandy, you'll just have to be on your way. It is highly sought after, and I don't sell to just anyone. Chef Raziz sent me to get a bottle of your Vastir brandy. As I said, I don't sell my vintage to just... Wait, Chef Raziz? THE Chef Raziz? A friend in Shornhelm said he paved life's roads with flavor. And now he's here in Kaelin? He's doing a demonstration down the street right now. On the street? Like some common vagrant? Oh, that won't do. I heard Queen Morea hosted him when he came through Wayrest. He's the most innovative chef in all of Tamriel. And he's sending some shabby hireling to beg for my fine vintage? Well, excuse me, fella. So can I get a bottle of brandy from you or not? Tell you what, I'll sell you the bottle you're asking for. But... If you can convince Chef Raziz to cook a private, high-class dinner at my estate, I'll give it to you for free. You know what, buddy? I think I'll just pay for the brandy. <laughs> Fine. I'll have to figure out how to make the introduction on my own. I suppose I'll have to rub elbows with the common folk and see this demonstration for myself. Well, you have what you came for. Be off with you. You're already doing that right here, fella. Okay, we got our brandy. I'm not subjecting the chef, the great chef, to that clown. No way. Okay, so... Well, I don't know how great he is. I haven't, haven't tasted a single single meal from that guy yet. Don't you think? Giving him more credit than he might deserve. Hmm, by the looks of you, I imagine you're here about the handbills posted around the city. Does that mean you're up for the dangerous work House Mornard is offering? Are you handling contracts for House Mornard? No, I oversee their dispersal. Lady Julene and the Druids, Gastok and Aishabe can tell you about specific jobs that are available. Each tend the wiles in their own way, but they all benefit Galen and have been approved by House Mornard. Alright, now do I sign up for one of these jobs? If you've got the steel to work alone, talk to Julene Crossell. If you don't mind cooperating with other sellswords, I hear Druid Gastok and Druid Aishabe have some dangerous work. And take this. A gift from the house. That'll, raid. that'll pay for the brandy. Julene Crisell has jobs for a lone sellsword. For Druid Gastok... Alright, so that's where we get the dailies from. So we got Spice of Life, but I'm gonna focus. Now let's get the right quest up here. Nope, that's not the one. A Sea of Troubles, so let's get Sea of Troubles done. We'll get Spice of Life done along the way, I imagine. Meet Druid Laurel at the Telling Stone. Oh, well, Spice of Life's right there, and that's the Telling Stone, okay. So let's go get Spice of Life done. So he's just behind us. Volcanic red peppers. My eyes and ears deceive me. Do you speak? Is the grass shriveled or vibrant? Got the red pepper. Vulkesh. I probably shouldn't fight you in a river of lava, should I? That doesn't seem like a smart decision. So we gotta go a little bit further back. Oh, here we go. Here we go, right here. Where is Ember?
Oh, I'm still in combat. It's a bit of a leap, jeez. <laughs> bit of a heroic leap there. And here comes Ember. Ember the Sorcerer, reporting for duty. There she is. Nicely done. Target's out of range. That's the mate. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that was it. Too easy. Uh, there is a Sky Shard over there. Don't know how easy it is to get over. Oh, it's pretty easy. There's a bridge right here. Bridge over here, bridge over there. I'm gonna show off a little. Sky shard. Sky shard. Around the corner. It's just up. Oh, there it is. How do I get to you? Ah, uh, this should be the way. Absorb, absorb, absorb. Done. Okay, so... From here, we've got... There is actually a vent over there. Although it's up above, not down below. I just want to tag it. That way I can keep tabs on it, if it's active or not. Discovered. Right, now we're good to move on. So we've got a little bit of ride ahead of us. We'll just travel in this direction. We should be there in a second. Right, that looks like the telling stone in front of us. Let's just make our way up that top. stirs roots tremble druids gather I am the nourisher the sower needed I don't think that's wise free I don't trust the fire song fire song pulsing ripping torn free from the ground blood in leaves um, you there, when blood soaked the leaves, when eyes opened and roots awoke, Defender, you feel it, yes? Unrest in the soil, wrongness. I don't understand. What could trouble a nature spirit? A song of hate blows through the branches. Harm drips like sap. It soaks the ground. Awaken to fire. Tremors. Volcano. Deadwood. Blood in the shadows. I am troubled. What does that mean? Rock. Root. Leaf. 
Brooke, all dreams of the green. My kin, spirits given form, we are. Purpose. Meaning. Now, a new purpose grows. Unwelcome change. What is your purpose, Free? King Kasserain called me from the green. A choice to be made. A moment. Waiting. Needed. My purpose is... To be. Wait. Listen. Roots must find water before they drink. Welcome to the Telling Stone, my friend. These runes tell the prophecy we call the Dream of Kasserain. Almost nothing survives from the time of the Druid King. But we have this. And now free as well. Have you been hiding free? You saw what Archdruid Mishiel did to the Weirds. Druids who are ready to hurt others like that shouldn't get what they want. So I've been keeping free safe. And helping them learn about people. They grow more every day. It's... incredible. Have you figured out why the Fire Song Druids want free? I probably know more about the Druid King than any other Druid alive. But so much remains in this The Dream of Cassidy describes a mountain shaking and a sower awakening. I think it's talking about Mount Fire Song and Free. How do the sacred seeds fit in? So much has been lost, so I can only guess. Maybe Archdruid Orlaith believes the seeds must be united to make the prophecy come true? Until they end their violent ways, though, I plan to keep Free a secret. Let's go see what happens at the Dreyfa. Where will the Dreyfa take place? The Dreyfa will begin soon. Three Archdruids from each circle meet in a dell within the hills across the valley just to the south of here. We should make our way there. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Meanwhile, something just exploded over there. Also, there's a blue book up here. Let's just grab that. And jump off the side. And forward roll. An attack! Doing great! Spirit of water, help us! Quench this land! Keep going! Embrace! Lend me your strength! Well, One more vent here. You can do it! I believe. The evil has broken through! Kill the monster, or all hope is lost! If that doesn't scare them, nothing will. All that knockback. Questions still remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened until we meet again. There's always a question, okay? So, where is the next place we need to go to? The Drafer? Oh, it's actually just nearby. She did say it was south, didn't she? Just south? Right over here. Dreyfadel. Three arch druids from each other, three druid circles come together to form the Dreyfa, a governing council. Dreyfa meets to settle disputes, declaring the beginning and ending of seasons, and issue proclamations about something. <laughs> the day is upon us. The Dreyfa must crown a new druid king. Perhaps. 
but you have no right to claim the sacred seeds by force. You hide your seeds and keep the sower of Kasserine's dream for yourself. You declare this war, not the Fire Song. No Druid King can be crowned until the Circles are united. The Telling Stone is quite clear. This Dreyfa is a sham. If I must burn away the old to reveal the new, so be it! Oh? Orlaith killed most of the Dreyfa. She's getting away! Watch yourself! <laughs> you don't mess with the street. I'll go after her! Friend, protect the remaining arch druids. Teach these sea snakes a lesson, mate! I got a mate! I like how Dulef says mate. <laughs> You're doing something, Ember. You're actually, you're actually doing pretty damn good these days. Now, go help Laurel and Stefan. Go on! I'll keep watch here. Alright, I'm on it. Couple of fire song in our way. Nothing too crazy. should not meddle in druid affairs. Deal with them, Brenna. Brenna? I got you. There to be death, outsider. I'm pretty sure Ember's got you at this point. I fall, but... You defeated my champion? No matter. Tell Kalvornar <laughs> to stay that out of this, you or his Ember son's the life is forfeit. The Elder type will make Orlaith answer for this outrage. She has young Stefan. We must tread carefully, yet, thanks to this mainlander, we still live. We must inform Count Mornard. I won't tell Archdruids what to do, but you're welcome in Vestir. Orlaith was going to take me, but Stefan intervened. He put himself in danger to save me and protect my circle. We need to tell Count Mornard what happened, and then we have to help Stefan. What do you think Archdruid Orlaith attacked the Dreyfa? Archdruid Orlaith never intended the Dreyfa to judge her actions. Root and rot. She only agreed to come so she could have the Dread Sails kill the Archdruids. She meant to leave the Stone Lore and the Elder Tide crippled and without their leaders. We saved Archdruid Raval and Archdruid Elik from the Dread Sails. So I see. Thank you. That was more good than I could do. I chased after Orlaith and ran directly into her hands. Worse yet, I brought Stefan right to her. Now the Firesong Circle has a hostage. What will Archdruid La Orlaith do with Sir Stefan? I don't know, but Count Mornard will be furious. Archdruid Orlaith might demand the Sacred Seeds in exchange for Stefan. Or she could make House Mornard stand down until her allies collect the seeds for her. This... Is bad. It ain't good. Alright. Leave the Dell. I might have to uh, dismiss Ember when I take on bosses. <sighs> but then again, they called that the champion. Flattened within seconds. Garbage champion. Alright. So. We return. Uh, I guess I could just go straight there instead. 73 gold? Sure. Let's go straight there. Castle Morad. Talk to the Count. And now my son is in their clutches? We should have left these foolish druids to their squabbles. Ignoring someone doesn't mean they'll ignore you. We need the Elder Tide and the Stone Lord to meet this threat and save your son. Dulef tells me you played no small part in repelling the Dread Sails and foiling an attack on the Druid Council, mercenary. Has the Firesong Circle truly made an alliance with the hated Sea Elves? The Dread Sails are helping the Firesong get the Sacred Seeds from the other Druid Circles. All this trouble over Druidic nonsense? And it led to the deaths of four Archdruids? Unbelievable! But I wouldn't expect sea elf pirates to bother with an alliance that doesn't pay in plunder. What does Sea Lord Nalos get out of all this? 
A steward or lathe promised to grant him a strong hold on Galen, according to orders we found. Typical. A druid who doesn't believe in property generously giving away something that doesn't belong to her. When last I looked, I ruled Galen. Did Archdruid Orlaith say what she wants from me as a price for keeping my son alive? Archdruid Orlaith wants House Monarch to stay out of her way, while she claims the sacred seeds. I had no interest in druid quarrels until she threatened my son. Bah! <laughs> Stefan warned me something dangerous was afoot. I should have listened. Here. House Mornard always pays its debts. There's more to come if you continue to aid us, mercenary.